The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Underground Championship! Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Here we go, guys. The championship is on the line here in this one. And I'll tell you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Introducing the challenger from Oita, Japan, weighing in at 171 pounds, Steel Tiger. And his opponent from Oita, Japan, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the underground champion, the savage Haku Yamamoto. You win this title, you are primed for big things. This title defense begins, and it really is lonely at the top, wouldn't you say? Once you're at the pinnacle, Saxton, you don't care about friends. You have one solitary goal, and that is to defend your title at any cost. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Up high. Oh, got caught. Moved at the right time. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. And finds a counter. These two training counters, an absolute master class. Close line! Elbow drop right on point. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gouge. Oh, God. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Face buster plants him. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. He'll take things into the ring. 
Steps through, double under, again to the neck breaker. And he's just become merciless here. We are looking at an unyielding attack from him. Wow, what an arm drag. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Elbow drop right on point. Big boot. Caught with the boot. Kick to the gut creates separation. Running Hurricane Rana. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Going in. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Oh, are you oh, kidding me? The back of his neck. The degree of difficulty for something like that can't be overstated. Oh. He's one step ahead there. Uh oh. Cross the shoulders. Takes. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. He gets back into the ring. Jawbreaker! Call it Dennis. He moves just in time. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Nice Japanese arm drag. Not so fast. Here's the pin title on the line. Kicks out at just one. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Able to reverse that one. Line. Elbow drop right on point. From the middle rope. Oh, a splash. The challenger is in some big trouble. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Hits him with the counter. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Oh, Ooh. knee left. Somebody better check his nose. Hooked up. Double under. Hook. Down with the power bomb. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Uh oh. Way too wrong. The title might change hands. Two. I was not expecting that from him at this point. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. They're slamming their face down. Check his nose. Elbow drop right on point. Heavy body shot and an uppercut. Close line for the exclamation point. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Perched up top. Almost lost their balance, but regained it. Shredded apart right now. Yeah, the defects in his game are leaving him vulnerable. Oh, what do they have planned here? Out to the apron. Uh, this is going to be nasty. This is not going to be good. They're out there in no man's land. Don't do this. Down the floor. He broke it in half. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Lifted off the mat, suplex position. Oh my goodness, what a pile driver. The champ will stay champ. Two count. He kicked out at two. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? And now the question runs in the mind, how am I crunched up top? Almost lost their balance, but regained. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. Yeah, he is sparing no energy right now. Uh -oh. Into the 
a chunk block, a debilitating counter there. Able to avoid there. We're reaching a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Nice Japanese on drag. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Something in the corner makes him pay with a counter. Well, oh, kicks in a debilitating quote. No. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Suicide dive. Gets inside the ring. He wants even more out of his opponent. from attacks to that area. And there's a neck breaker. Lifted off the mat, suplex position. What? Thanks for coming. A championship level move. Kick to the gut. Right the wrong to a neck breaker. Hart with a chance to fight back from this. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. We're going to be hard pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still underground champion, the Savage Haku Yamamoto. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. A highly anticipated matchup. Good show of sportsmanship to start. Now we get down to business. Look, I think we are in store for a hard-fought matchup between these two superstars. This match is underway, and I have to commend them for that display of esteem between these superstars. That kind of respect is something that can take a superstar to the next level in their career. Oh, come on, Saxton. In WWE, you got to hit first, or you'll be the one getting hit. Oh, ouch. Ooh. With the reversal. She sent flying into the corner. Knee finds the abdomen. Hits their opponent's oh, legs. Oh. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, saw it coming and swept the leg. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Tripling attack on the knee. She turns it right around with a counter. Look at her. There, smart strategy. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Three. 
looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, what a counter. Here we go, round and round. Satellite DDT. Up and oh, spiked with a Frankensteiner. And just like that, we kick the tempo up a notch. Right to the face. My God. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Bader, she thinks she has it. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Whoa, change of plan. Top on Charmin. Turning the tables there. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. She might be in some trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. And she's stunned in the corner. It's all over, Makes but the cover cover him. Three, no, no, two count. I do not know how you survived that. Staying alive there is unheard of. But if we see one more devastating move again, this can be over soon. Ooh, ow, escapes by going down low. just won't stay down. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Good golly, what a knee. Saw it coming. Oh, God, what a shot. She's looking for the win. And a kick out of only one. I got to tell you, I thought she was done there. She's staying elusive. Oh. Wicked kick to the lower back. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? It might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. Down, slam, slam. Free fall. Interesting strategy. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. She has to figure something out for this. She's been pushed into a bad spot for sure. Into the arm track. Quick the move. That's through. Up and over. Celia Del Sol. Amazing execution. put on quite a show. Here's another look.
Here is your winner, Jessica Ricci. While I admire the respect they showed earlier, it's obvious it doesn't always work out. Respect isn't always about winning, Corey. I don't know if I would expect Corey to know much about respect, Byron. This loss is going to be playing on repeat in their head for a while. Well, with their display of respect earlier, I think they'll bounce back after tonight, Corey. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tulsa, Oklahoma, weighing in at 280 pounds, Kent O'Grady. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of, and that dream is about to become a reality. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 177 pounds, Harry Smoke. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. Yeah, but meeting him in the ring's quite an obstacle. There's nothing about this superstar that signifies he'll be a pushover. Just disrespectful. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh, what a high kick. Ripcord applied. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. He's going for it all. Oh. Saw that coming. Leg sweep from the outside. Very clever. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. this, it could still rally. A big forearm connects. Catches a punch. Big forearm. Oh, he retaliates. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh. And he barely evades. Setting up. for the quick pin. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Optimistic thinking on that pin attempt. Being carried around with ease. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. 
What grace. Uh-oh. Well-scattered reversal there. Ooh, what a nasty kick. That's disrespectful. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. I oh, like this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Look out. Able to elude it. Smart strategy, attack the knee. And up the turnbuckles we go. Launching. Fails to hit the bullseye. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. A uh, sling blade. Followed up with a basement drop kick. Look at this. Oh, just completely off target there. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide on the apron. All the way to the outside. Two. Oh. Three. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack Four. your opponent. here he is getting fired up here you hear the talk in the locker room the anything you can do i can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors i've noticed just how much they've been trying to one up each other as of late and i'm liking what i'm seeing who said flying He gets 
set down to the floor. Here we go. Oh, God. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Able to get the advantage here. Quick return to the ring. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. There's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. What is this superstar thinking about right now? 450 splash. Is it enough? The cover. Two. No. He kicks out. What an incredible match we are witnessing. On the outside, springboard frog splash. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And the cover for the win! Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. of victory and what a classy display by the loser not how the knight wanted oh, oh. oh. yeah classy not at all how about pathetic The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from the Wild West. Weighing in at 243 pounds, the outlaw, Zach Draven. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks.
fireworks in this upcoming match. He showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> And his opponents, first, from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! A man who lives his life way up high. Come on, let's go! Yeah! Shifting gears now. I like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Yeah, who writes your stuff? Representing the family from Australia, weighing in at 188 pounds, Gene! Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. This matchup is treacherous. Both competitors enter with no absence of matches. It's about inflicting maximum punishment. You have to create your own opportunity. Pinpoint a body part and exploit it. Everything is at a competitor's disposal. The lack of rules makes a superstar even more dangerous. Lifted way up. Oh, atomic drop. Oh, my gosh, what impact. carry takeover in a no disqualification match you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring you want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole oh, twisting the neck he deflects it right back Right into the corner. Running Bulldog. This could do it. He's able to beat a two count. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. He's able to fend off the attack. Picked up. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Shut your face after that one. Oh, God, that hurt. Ooh, man. Out of the way in time. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Rolling elbow right on. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. 
Ooh, Van Dam avoids contact. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. And that can keep RBD down. Cover! Two! What, only two? On absolute instinct alone, RBD managed to kick out. But does Van Dam even know where he is right now? All that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, he's being faced with a lot of adversity right now. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. As them set up. There it is, the punch line. any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display. Going for it again. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Ooh. Kicks to the face. Head off with a big one. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Spread um, Abdominal stretch. Did you expect anything less? 
He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. And look at this. He's got to be running on instinct alone. You got to imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Bang! Man, this place is jumping. And proving a bit slippery for them there. He fends off the attack. Absolutely spiked. DDT. And able to counter. What a forearm. He's got him scouted. Good timing with that reversal. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Here comes another one. It's a wrap. Uh, just about as close as you can get. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Dodges. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Just caught their opponent. Hey, couple bicep curls into the fall away slam. Fired up now. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Oh, look at the cripple in the leg. What now? A uh, stop right to the gut. Looking for a high risk move. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Perched up top. Incredible impact with the diving clothesline. Cover. Is it enough? Refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. This is it. And a strong kick out in one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Uh oh. Uh oh is right. Package pile driver. This could be the chance he was looking for. Shoulders down. He's still in this fight. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Deadlift back suplex! He's executing on his plan perfectly. He's looking relentless. Ring four. Big kick. Super Ridiculous standing shooting star. Look out! Bulldog across the ring! Ooh. He's up at the plate now. Oh. And he is now in a discouraging spot. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Set up in the corner of the ring. Big time move coming up. Set up top. Looking to end this match immediately. This'll do it. Oh, Heading up, he's thinking big. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. From the top rope. Oh, right in there.
let's take a look back at some of the great action. Here is your winner, the outlaw, Zach Draven. What an impressive performance and victory surviving against every other superstar in this match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was no different, you guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the club from Switzerland. Weighing in at 246 pounds, Clown Dio Case. Not totally. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> And his opponent, accompanied by Loki Lovecraft, representing the Gate Crushers from Valhalla, weighing in at 238 pounds, Kelly Valiant. You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? We've got one of the most outspoken superstars on the roster in the ring right now. Yeah, Cole, he's made it very clear what his intentions are and that no one is going to stop him. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. Across the way is a man who's rededicated his focus, someone who's been spending extra time training and scouting for his competition. Jeez. Spin kick to the midsection. He needs to be prepared. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Take some damage tonight. Can't quite get him there. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Oh, swinging neck breaker. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Stunning display of power. Give up now. Is the 
attack just a smidge quicker. Okay, arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. Drop kick right on point. Ah. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly. Oof. Oh, man. This rapid fire attack. Yeah, it's pretty incredible the way the superstar's been able to recover here. And the superstar's opponent has no idea where they're at. Boom! Corner to corner, coast to coast. Big time drop kick. This could be it. A cover for the win. No stops the count at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. Uh oh! What a takedown! Fujiwara armbar! Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied! He's looking a little weary now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. He's turning the tables! Solid punch! Uh-oh, this is not gonna end well! Nice suplex! Just defenseless as the momentum is against him. He can't just think of riding this out. He has to get on offense. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Look out, crashing down with the senton. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Scott hit and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Can he take advantage? Check to the back of the knee. Watch this. What is playing? Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Going way up high. From way up high. Nails the cross body. The close of this match is just ahead. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Yeah, this match is in his favor now. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Let's take a trip to the Swiss Alps, shall we? Rick Tuck him in. Makes the best. cover. Oh, he was almost finished. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. Everything possible is done to him. He's got another pin. This could be it. And to the pain window. He forces the shoulder up after two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Able to give him the slip. Sure, you're a pin uppercut. There it comes. Planted with a neck breaker. To the gut. He's heading up top. Thinking big. <laughs> Setting up again. DDT with diving delivery. Amazing. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Two. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, 
Kelly Valiant. A strenuous victory here tonight. These superstars took each other to the absolute limit. Well past the limit, I'd say. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the club from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Brian Danielson. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. And his opponent from the Polynesian Islands, weighing in at 285 pounds, Cameron Drake. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work nonstop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> And here we have a superstar who's been grinding his teeth at the Performance Center as of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're talking about, Michael. He's not someone who will rest on his laurels. He never has been. And that dedication is what puts him in position to win tonight. He's taking on a guy that's looking to put him in his place here tonight. This guy's been saying all week how he's going to prove a point in this match tonight. Drop kick hits the mark. Oof. Shoulders down for the count. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. Shotgun knee strike. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Look out. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Ooh. Hurling your own body like that is insane. What's he being put in? Stopping down. He's entered a state of distress now. Yeah, this flurry's proven to be quite the... Oh, look at this, it's in. Oh, the hoverboard lock. This might be it right... And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hole. What a knockout! Oh, oh man, counters. Drag. Very nice. Oh, the elbow connects. Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Absolutely brutal, ruthless. He has him in his grasp. Really targeting the back on that one. And he continues to mount on the pressure. This is where the rubber meets the road. Can he keep from the heavens? Splash from the top. Ah. 
He turns it around. Brief sign of adrenaline there for him. Belly to belly. With the counter. He takes control. Something of a competitive. Pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. One after another. Wrist clutch applied, and this is just next level brutality. Some good hits. This one is headed outside, guys. And he tosses it back in there. Trash talking. 
Agitation from the top of the ramp. Apparently we've got a new robbery on our hands. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Australia, weighing in at 201 pounds, the Reaper, Luke. Some would say this superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun, heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. What? That is horrible advice. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. And his opponent from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, weighing in at 215 pounds. This is someone I can give my full support to. Someone who has the guts to stand up for what's right. What are they, a knight in shining armor? Give me a break. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he is well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. Though his opponent will have something to say about that, he himself has garnered a lot of experience and knows in this business you're either stepping up or being stepped on. or knock you out. He turns it around. A oh, jumping stop to the gut. Dodged right on cue. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. I oh, able to counter. This match grinded him down a little. He had it scouted. 
Uh, gets put into the barricade. Oh, great counter. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Got the leg. What a dragon screw. That'll destroy a knee. Put into the corner now. He's got the answer for that one. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Ooh, just relentless. Ooh, well measured. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Ooh. Vicious right forearm. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, man. A roundhouse kick. He's absorbed some damage already. He reverses it. Watch out. Big slap diving clothesline. Controlling the arm, full control, what a kick. Getting him into the corner. Ooh, right across the solar plexus. You can just sense the animosity in the ring right now. This rock into the corner. Oh. Kicks out before the two count. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. He saw it coming. Powerful spine buster. That's gotta be it. Two. Oh, and a kick out. This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Don't do it! Suicide dive! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. from him here. Yeah, he has planted himself in the driver's seat. Oh, and a knee strike. Setting up for something here. Straight up back down the throat. Ooh, stinging kick. Determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Long way up in the electric chair. Gonna be taking that dirt now. For the win! There's two! And a kick out! No one saw that coming. I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was gonna be the end of it. Myself included. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Superstar can 
absorbed. Right from the top rope. Oh, the double knees. What impact. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Oh, face stop. And there he is on the attack deep in this match. He has the advantage here. Electric chair. Of mind. I thought he was unconscious. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's leaving. surprising Byron yeah I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there to the back of the neck on the move bouncing out the road It up. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Uh oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Overhand right lands. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. And there's the cover. Absolutely exhausted. Put everything into the match here tonight, and oh, look who's here. But there is no time to rest. You can feel the tensions rising. <laughs> 